All right. We are going to talk about Sokol queries. So, what on earth is a Sokol query? A Sokol query is a question, so to speak. A query is a question, right? Like, for example, may I query what is your name? May I query where do you live? May I query what do you like to eat? May I query and so on and so forth, right? A query is a question. So circle queries is basically a question to get answers from sales course, sales force, not sales course, sales force about the records that currently exist in Salesforce. So, for example, account query here. We are querying from account, okay? So, let me open up our playground, hands on org, and then launch our playground. Let's see what we have over here. So, if I go to accounts here, accounts this is a playground therefore we have limited records just 17 and not 17 million records all right so a query basically a question to get an answer from salesforce records so example is i want to know how many accounts in California, right? Well, you can you can look at with your eyeball right now. Oh, there are two. I know there are two from California. But what if you have 17 million records in your Salesforce org and you need to know how many in California and specifically having a, 10 employees or more or any other criteria. So that is a soccer. So let's get on and get our hands dirty. Developer console, boom. So we are going to play with our account object. All right, so I'm gonna close this guy. So you go to query editor. This is where you can ask Salesforce questions and get the answers all right let's make things simple so before we start querying i want you to open the account object file open resource and then account.obg here come on get away here account.obg okay open what do we need this for this is the fields we can query Salesforce, right? This is the fields you can ask Salesforce. Basically, this is all the available fields from the account object. So any object you want to query, if you want to see what fields are available to be queried on, you can just file, open, and then um objects you can do that as well or open resource this is better actually because you can open objects and then you filter for example i want to open opportunity opportunity there okay and i'm going to open so we have opportunity there so these are all the available fields for the opportunity object okay this is simpler than you have to go to, than having to go to set up here and then you pop set up and then you can go to object manager and then you want to go account, same thing and then field so many steps, right? And you say, oh, these are the available field name I can query, right? But why do that when you can just focus on this developer console window and refer it here? as you do your query in one, one window, right? So let's do an example. 
like uh, here, billing what? Billing what? Billing state here, right? California, CA. So I want to see, select the name of the account from what? From account object where the billing state, so this has to be written exactly like this, equals CA, which is California. And then you execute here and then you, you, you say, boom. Whoa, you got gene point and S force. But I want to know more than the account name, please. So for example, I also want to know, what else do you want to know? The phone number, right? So select name and then phone number. How do I know there's a phone field there? There's the phone field there, right? And then industry. There's the industry field, right? Select name phone industry from account where billing state equals California, CA. And then you say, boom. This, this is going to keep adding. This is the result of the last query. This is the previous one, right? And you can close that. This is the new one and it has a phone field and industry field, right? So what if I don't say billing state equals California? I say where, what else do we have? Let me close the opportunity here, okay? So you're not confused. Where employee count or employees, um, is it sorted by name? Let's sort it. You can click on the top here, okay? Sort, boom, 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 okay? E, employee, employee, what is it called? Um, I think number of employees here, right? Can you copy this thing? I can I think you can double click, double tap, no. Well, you can type it. Where number of employees greater than three employees, okay? And then we also want to know the number of employees, right? So name number of employees so select what field you want to see name number of employees phone and industry from the account of jack where what where number of employees is greater than three and then you say execute and you say boom whoa at me whoa 100 employees 1000 9000 right that's a lot dude what if you say now please sort it by the number of employees, okay? Order by number of employees, and then you hit boom again. Now it started 100, 120, but you wanna say from biggest to smaller. You say descending, okay? Descending is like from large to small, from Z to A, or Z to A, however you wanna say it, or from big, too small, okay? If I execute again, boom, 145,000 employees for United Oil and Gas Corp. Look at that, all right? Or you want to filter, you know, um, just the industry of energy, okay? Where, where's the where part? Number, em number of employees greater than three here, but I want the industry just energy, okay? And industry equals energy, okay? And then you hit boom. Now just the energy we have. So this circle you can use on your Apex class, Apex trigger, or yeah, controller, you know? whatever you want to write on your Apex code. So you try out your circle, try it out on this developer console query editor, right? So say you, you're writing a class, new Apex class, or just open a new Apex class. Do we have something we write just recently? Apex class, not opportunity filter. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Account handler, I think we did some account handler the other day, right? Here, there. So for example, you have a circle here 
and then you want to insert a sockle code you can try it first here will my sockle code on my apex class work as i would like it to be so try it out first on your query editor and you hit boom oh it's it's grabbing what i need okay then i can use this right i can use this sockle it's grabbing what i need pretty cool and then i'm going to say uh, instead of account uh, making a new account there I'm going to say account is a list of account right which is a circle new account new account new well I'm, I'm just gonna say like this for example account list of account okay and then you do a circle here. You do a circle there, boom, with a bracket like that, okay? And then you can paste it like that. So this is your circle which you have tried here, right? And then, oh, not list C, list, right? And then this should be also like list, list of account, right? and then return new accounts we're not gonna insert it this is also a messed up code okay I'm just um, showing you how you can inject your circle on a code okay don't forget about what I'm trying to do here so this is a list I'm not even going to explain it basically I'm just gonna try I have a circle I want to use my circle on my code that's how you do it. You test it on your query editor and then you put it whatever you want on your code. All right, let's flip back to our trailhead before I spin your head and you get confused. All right, uh, right, circle queries. We tried the simple ones, right? We did try the query editor, the, say, the simple ones there with where clause. You know, you can select from any object, all right? So let's try again. Let's try for an opportunity, okay? Let me just close, close, and, you know, just close, close, close. No, I'm, I'm not gonna save this guy. And then I should say yes. <laughs> File, open, uh, open, 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 opportunity, object, object, opportunity. So I, I wanna see what fields are available for querying. So, for example, I'm gonna delete everything here. Select, um, I don't know, amount of the opportunity, for example, like first opportunity name. Select name, amount, from what? From opportunity, where what? Where, let's say, what else can we filter? Hmm, let's just make it simple. Where amount, what amount? Greater than $5. Okay, boom. Woo, we got a lot amount there, right? So basically now we are querying from the opportunity object, right? Opportunity object before we query from the account object now from the opportunity object you can query from any object on salesforce custom or standard object so any object you see over here object manager all of it you can query with your circle okay so basically you can query anything you need so um that's about that basic circle syntax we did that filtering we did that where Right, and then you can add an and logic or an or logic. So for example, where the name of the account is SFDC computing or the number of employee is greater than 25 and billing city is Los Angeles. So if the record name is SFDC computing, it's gonna return to you. You're gonna get the record or if the number of employees is greater than 25 and the city is Los Angeles, you're also going to get it. Let's just try that one. Let's see if we have that. If I just going to paste that there, right? 
and I'm just going to execute. Let's see, do we have zero? We have nothing, right? Because we haven't initiated this sample data here, probably, right? We need to copy this. You need to copy that first. And then you have to execute from what? Anonymous window, control E, right? And then you can, you can make this bigger. And I'm just going to paste that. Boom. And execute. That will insert the records needed to actually pop this up. Now, if I execute this, let me close all this. If I execute this, we should have some records. Now we have two, right? Because we have initiated the data sample insertion to the Salesforce org, all right? So before you actually copy and try all this socal, please do this one first on your um, execute anonymous window. Do control E or command E on your developer console okay all right now what is next ordering the query we did that limiting the number of records returned we haven't done that so for example you have 50 million records and you just want to see the first hundred you can do limit right limit if i say limit one there's two right if i say limit one it'll just return one there okay so you can limit how many records do you want to get actually so that's limiting it and then combining it together like that. Right. Okay. So accessing variables in Sockle queries. This is, um, oh yeah, when you actually want to loop over it and things like that. Let's do this on the next video, okay? So we did the basic soccer queries. I'm going to create another video to do the rest, the half of this um, trail, and then another video for the challenge. So it's not getting too long. All right, so let me stop here, and I'll see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom